Brian Michael here from Go Engineer with another armchair tech tip. And today we want to talk about those crazy nylon build sheets and how to get them to lay down. Because I'm telling you, if you've had any experiences like us, you're like, what the, how does this work? I can't get this to get a vacuum. Well, we want to help you figure out how to do that. It's actually probably pretty straightforward and simple, but let's show you some tap, tip, tap, tip, tap, tip, tap. I had something go on there, totally lost it with the tap, tip, tip, tops. <laughs> we'll get back to that. The gag reel is going to be huge. Yep. <laughs> huge. <laughs> so we've got some tech tips for you. Let's show you how we actually get this to work on our end. All right, so we got out of our chair, came to the back room. We want to talk to you about nylon build sheets because I am sure that somebody out there, if asked the question of how much do you love nylon build sheets, you're not going to be like, yeah, I love nylon build sheets. <laughs> no, no, they're such a pain in the butt to actually get to lay flat inside the system. And we want to give you some tips about how not to have that second reaction of no into the, yeah, I love them. Nylon build sheets, putting them into your system, That's what a lot of people see. They sit and hop and bounce around, and they just don't want to lay flat. How have we learned to counter that? Well, first and foremost, we found some kind of sealed container that you can put the build sheets in. And not just sealed, we're also talking about something that actually has truly a seal, a gasket around it, to keep the moisture out of that container. From there, any extra desiccant packs we have from any of the materials that we've been picking up over time, we plop them in there as a backup. But probably most importantly, we've added a renewable dehumidifier. This can simply be plugged into a wall to be recharged. We place this inside with the build sheets and that helps pull all the moisture out of those build sheets. And truly, that alone can make a significant difference in how fast a build sheet will lay flat in one of these machines. Now finally, we simply ran out and just Cut a board. If it resorts to this, if we can't get that build sheet to lay flat, we will in some cases just drop this board in, it'll lay flat on top of that build tray, and it'll allow for that machine to suck a vacuum on that build sheet. Now, this one's not laid flat, but if I move it over, I've already got a vacuum that quick. And it happens that fast truly because we keep it inside this container. We have a dehumidifier in there, or as a backup plan, we've got the board. Try those things and you will be like, yeah, that works. And you'll feel so much better about working with nylon build sheets. All right, we'll see you later. All right, welcome back. Well, hopefully those tech tips gave you some good ideas about how to work with those crazy nylon build sheets. For this and more information, please follow us at GoEngineer.com for all applicable links and like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for spending some time with us and the build sheets. Have a great day. Bye.